What's up, guys? It's Cole. MTG Monday is coming at you. Um, <clears throat> I was looking over all this stuff yesterday, and it looks like they have a bunch of new spoilers for Return to Ravnica, so I thought I'd talk about them and give you my opinions on it. Uh, so far, we have Root Board Defenses, which has been... Sorry about that. Which has been there for a while. Um, <clears throat> I really actually like this Populate ability. I think it's kind of neat. Um, not too... I'm not too, like, I'm impressed by this card, but it's not, like, awesome, awesome. I, I think it's going to be really, really good and limited. But, um, but other than that, I really like the populate mechanic. Pretty excited for that one. Uh, next is Street Spasm. Let me get here. Okay, so it's an, it's an X spell, and then we have the, um, the keyword for the is it, which is Overload. And I really really like this. Being able to pay more to do something better on a spell, I think in, in as an EDH player, uh, I think that's awesome. Definitely awesome. Um, yeah, I like this card. I think it's going to be, it's going to be good. Um, then we have the, what is his name? Deathbridge Goliath. I thought that was going to be a better picture, but um, let's see. There we go. So he's 4 for 5, 5, which is good. Uh, and then the Golgari, uh, keyword, which is scavenge. So for four and two green, you can exile it from your graveyard to put X one one counters on target creature where X is its card's power. You can only do it as a sorcery. Um, I'm excited for these guys for my Skullbriar deck mostly, just because that's awesome for that deck. Other than that, I don't think uh, certain cards will have an impact. I think on standard, I'm fairly certain they will. This one, I don't think will. Uh, it just costs too much to scavenge. I mean, it is it is a four four a five five for four. That is good, uh, but just for that scavenge ability, it's just four for five five vanilla creature. I don't think it'll be too crazy. Uh, let's see. Next is Dredge Mangler, or Dreg Mangler, however you want to say it. This guy is awesome. I think he's actually going to have an okay place in standard just because he's a three three for a three three haste. That's good. Um, his scavenge is five, which is not terribly hard to get to, and it also gives somebody. 3-3. Three, three. Uh, that's, I think that's pretty good. Um, let's see. Next is Goblin Electromancer. Uh, this is definitely an EDH all-star, I think, in decks that play these colors. Because instant and sorcery spells costing you one less. Now, they had Arcane Melee. I believe that was everybody's stuff cost two less, I think, or maybe it was one. But that was everybody's spells. This was just yours. Granted, it is easy to kill. It is only a 2-2 body, but, uh, I definitely think this is going to be awesome in EDH. Let's see, is it Charm? Man, talk about the power of this card. Like, this is a very good card. <laughs> For only two instant, you can counter a non-target creature unless it's it's uh, a non-creature spell unless its controller play, pays two, so you get a spell pierce basically, or it can deal two damage to a creature, so a limited shock, or you can draw two cards and discard tar discard two cards at instant speed. That is an amazing card. It's just <clears throat> the uh, versatility of this one card. It's like having three cards in one. I think this is an awesome card, and I can't wait to see the rest of the charms. And we have uh, Gerard, fully spoiled. I'm actually really... I'm interested in actually trying to make an EDH deck around this guy, because I actually don't have... I have one that's in this color, but it's just the Skullbriar deck. Um, so I'm actually interested in making one in this colors that have to do with graveyard recursion and graveyard uh, stuff like that. Um, I think he's going to be really good in definitely in EDH. And then we have the Corozoda Gold Mage. Guild Mage. <clears throat> I'm actually excited to see what all the new Guild Mages do. Um, they were pretty much my f one of my favorite uh, cycles of R Last Ravnica because they di all did something awesome. And I mean, this one does something pretty cool. This right here is kind of neat. Giving it 1-1 one, one and Intimidate for 3 is... That's pretty huge. That's, you know... That's like... Almost a Planeswalker-ish feeling ability, you know what I mean? Like a, like Elspeth giving him 1-1... One, one, or 2-2 two, two and flying. Or a Johnny giving him double strike and flying. Um, I think that's going to be really good. Um, and he only costs 2 to play, so... You know, uh, so basically you can give, you can play him, give himself next turn plus one one, and give him Intimidate, uh, 
so he's a 3-3 three, three on turn 3 with Intimidate that can attack. I like that. Um, and then his second one, Sacrifice an Untoken Creature and put X Sapperlings, where X is the uh, Sacrifice Creature's power. And the fact that you don't have to actually tap this guy to do that, I think is really good. And especially in EDH, this is going to be amazing. Just because things die all the time, things are getting put on the bottom, and being able to pay 4 at instant speed anytime you have 4 available to counteract somebody trying to like tuck your general or something and putting a buttload of sapperlings into play that is awesome so I'm really excited for that um, so we talked about the populate uh, we're not sure what any of the other um, keywords are anymore yet but they said that there's going to be five extra basic lands, I think is what they said, or ex extra lands, and which means there's going to be five some sort of land that have hopefully a forest in it. So I'm hoping shock lands or snow duels or something like that. That'd be awesome. Well, uh, that's my review on the stuff that's been spoiled so far. I can't wait for this set. I, I honestly can't wait. Uh, can't wait to go to the pre-releases and uh, see all of that stuff. I actually think that the pre-releases are going to be fun with the new uh, form that they're doing. All of the... you get a pack for your guild and stuff. I think that's going to be awesome. So anyways, guys, uh, see you next time. And as always, thank you for watching.